You're learning the magic. Yeah. So hi everyone. Today it's my our first meeting uh, for the GSOC, uh, building Jenkins.io with Alternative Tools project, and we welcome our contributor. Seven. Hi everyone. Would you like to introduce yourself? Uh yeah. Wait a minute. Okay. Yeah. Hi everyone. Hi. Hello. So, Vandi, oh. tell us something about yourself. Introduction oh. is not enough just to say yeah, hi. Yeah. We want to hear <laughs> yeah, more should, about I you. Should, yeah, I should introduce myself. Hello, everyone. My name is Vandit Singh. I'm based off Delhi, India. Uh, I'm really interested in many technologies, and there's a lot to learn. But there's a little bit of time for everyone when you're in college. So, uh, I've been contributing to Jenkins since... I guess July. I start. I tried. I tried contributing since July, but I got my first PR merge around August, I think. So yeah, hi. That's for for me. Okay. So um, let's start our agenda. So let me share my screen. Let's see. So I should choose um choose this one. I think. Okay, I see my screen. Yes. Okay, cool. So we're going to talk about some action items first, because we have been assigned a list of items to complete before the end of the bounding period for the project. So first, contributor bio. Any questions about this one, Dave? Do you know where you're going? No, I, I guess I I have already like I have created my file there already when I was make uh, I was updating some documentation. I guess it was uh, at that place. Okay, cool. So uh, I will leave it up. To I'll you update to... it. Yeah, but better to include a photo as well, because like um I I think like yeah, some contributors. Yeah, yeah, I... yeah. Okay, so no no issues about that, right? It's okay with you. Yeah, it's okay. all clear. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So next we have uh, to to write a project page with details. So this is um, I think this is a page. I think uh, if you want an example, I think you know where to go. But so if you want an example, you can go and check out the GitLab plugin modernization project because they have already done so. But for that, for that oh, one, okay. we, yeah, I think we've discussed some items about that before as well. Cause like, um, hang on, let me share my entire screen. So desktop, it's kind of dangerous, but anyways. So it's like, I think for this page here, cause like, uh, we had some discussion about before, about that one here. Cause for, so you can see on the right hand side here, right? So on this page, we have abstract, rationale, implementation, office hours. So for, and also we have at the bottom here, lines, with Gitter, meetings, original GSOC project idea, Jenkins GSOC page. But uh, for some reason, there's, there's like um, the links here, if you play around with it, I'm not sure if it, if, if it has been fixed, probably not. But the thing is, uh, for meetings, I think it just goes back to the same page, mm -hmm. but we don't want that. For this so we want that to be linked up to say the document we have like here for example okay so like going circular so that's one thing uh the original gsoc project idea i think i think it should link up to yeah the original project idea page which we used for like for for the um, the, the, the application phase Seriously, so that's what you've seen before, like for your projects, probably uh, let me go back to this project. So for this project, it's probably this one. So we can see the details here. Yeah, okay. mm -hmm. we, should, we should have a link to this page. So that's, uh, that's what we should have for our project. So let's see what else we have to Pay attention to you. So uh, I think let me go back to GSOC. This like uh, right now, like you have remember when you uh, after you have done your um, like 
file link it up here as well because like right now it goes to your uh github page but we want it to be kind of like this oh not yet oh hang on yeah because like i think we forgot to tell harsh to the, update this, this just uh, um this can be changed uh afterwards uh, this, i meant this one because like it's yeah. supposed to link up to this page instead of a github page but either one is fine it's like depending on what you want so which one do you prefer? So for this language? Uh, yeah, um, an author page on Jenkins IO is uh, is needed uh, as soon as blog posts are published. Okay. So we should so, update this one. Yeah. Okay. And uh, um, so this the, the general page, and there we can either point to the GitHub profile, but Normally, there it should point to the Jenkins profile. Yeah, uh, we can have or for that one. We we can also have a link to the GitHub. Yeah, voila. And maybe yeah. show also the sources of the pages. Otherwise, okay. people are going to to be lost. Okay. Okay. Good. Okay. Just a tip. Yeah. I shouldn't okay. fill my fountain pens while talking. <laughs> to spill okay. everything on my desk. And so right now we have the page is blank, but we we already have like um the mentors links here, so that's taken care of. The only thing we need to change is contributor link here. We have to add details to it, which includes abstract rationale implementation. Uh, office hours. We should we uh, should state hours too. What? Uh, Chris, what will be added in that rationale section? Uh, which is? A re rationale se section. So, so, the, you so I think Vandit was asking what should be added in the rationale sec section. And I oh. would think there it's the, that's a, that's an opportunity to describe why. Yeah. And, yeah. and the motivation or the inspiration for it. And yeah, why if you that? look at the original project idea, that's a good source or your project proposal that you submitted that we reviewed and that those for me would be the ideal things to to just copy and paste in there. Yep. Yeah. Okay. okay. So it should it should be kind of like a, I guess it's, let's say this one. So for the Git lab plugin modernization, the rationale would be the plugin would be more nice. Because like we're using some outdated software called Rest Easy, but for 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 like the because um, let me think because there should be a link to you know JSON. So go back here and we and I do this. If I go back to here, I think the question is here too because like it should be somewhere it's like for this project. I think it's in the background section. So it's like uh, this first paragraph, I think, will tell you why we have to uh, update. Oh, the product, the product version bound line. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, you can just like paraphrase this paragraph as a rationale or the motivation. Got it. Be yep. So let's see what else we have to do. So, so you can just, I think for, for um, I have too many of these. So for, uh, let me go back to here. So for, I think uh, that's one section that's redundant here, which is links. So we can, you can remove this. When you do, uh, because like uh, for, uh, by default, we already have a link section at the bottom. So it's like, uh, yeah. if you go to, yeah, you, you see, you see what I mean later, once we start working on that. But um, I think that's so you have to you have to work on four sections in total abstract rational implementation and office hours. Mm, got it. Okay. Okay, cool. So that's the project page in details. So also we have to uh, this year we we're introducing a new feature to add to the Jenkins store our website, which is the contributor blog post. To, to present the project at the beginning as well as to present yourself 
so write some paragraphs to explain your background, why why you chose this project, what do you hope to gain from it, um, what you're planning to uh, to do in regard to the project for the project for for G for Jenkins. So that might be a some. Uh, so uh, do in the in the blog post do I have to add some technical details as well, right? Hmm? Say again. Like what what in uh, in the blog post do I have to add some technical details like uh, what will what will I'll be doing uh, in like next two weeks? Yeah, oh, you good. good. You good. You good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It depends on what you want, but the basic idea is that you have to like essentials. So basics would be to um. Let me see. We are. Yeah. Oh, okay. So we need to say something about project description or motivation is one thing mm -hmm. so um some a, a short um a short file to introduce yourself to this contributor and also maybe um like you said plans for new future or maybe uh, maybe first two weeks maybe uh first few weeks Oh, first phase. First phase. Right. Chris, would it be would it be useful to include by the time that that Vandit creates this blog post? I think the author page will already be there and the project yeah. page with details. So link to the project page that yeah. that Vandit may allow you to put more technical details in the project page and just link to it. But it's up to you. It's your blog yeah. post but but the the project page details will already have some technical details in it and they may be enough already to just link to it up to you uh maybe we can just add some uh, some uh, maybe two and three lines about the preparation i'll be doing and technical details will have like in more depth what will i'll be doing for the first phase if that yeah, sounds yeah. right yeah yep i like that that sounds very good. You're you're talking to the to the community, and they don't know you. And yeah. so, well, you can also share what your feelings are starting this this adventure. But they would like to know who you are, what you intend to do, what what is this project about. So just share uh, uh, that. Yeah. That will it would be nice if I add uh I will add non technical I'll write the blog post in like in a non technical sense so so that the community who does not know the project uh will like understand what I'll be doing yeah, yeah and I am feeling nervous so I'll write that <laughs> <laughs> but yeah but it's 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 a good call for them to bear with you to help you and uh. uh now, yeah. another tip about blog posts, but Mark will probably guide you also uh, with that, is don't make it too long. The temptation is uh, to put many details. So write your first draft and then try to condense it. Yeah, I'll, I'll, get, I'll, yeah, I'll get it reviewed by Mark and Chris. Great. Yep. Any the other things like uh, maybe Rajiv and you may want to add? Uh, yeah, so like this blog post is starting blog post, right? I mean, more than right? Uh, the unit of this program. So are we plan? Like, are we planning to have a blog post, blog post like uh, weekly or bi-weekly? I mean, uh, no, no, like no, it's just just for for the bounding period. Yeah, it's just for the bounding period, okay. and maybe another one for for wrapping up. I see, I see. Okay. Yeah. But wait, yeah. It's to start. Yeah, we, we can have a yeah we can have a weekly one, but it it depends on what um what Vendit wants, and also like it depends yeah. on like uh, yeah yeah we we could do that too yeah because like for some projects mm -hmm. they do apply that. Yeah yeah that only like I'm, I mean may, I think so for this project I don't think we need any weekly uh, blog post because uh, 
not so many uh, technical things in there, but maybe you can have a bi weekly or maybe mid term uh, big block post that makes them in the last, uh, yeah. like what we did. Um, yeah. uh, but maybe one day, if one day you're doing the personal block post, like many people like we focus at seeing like uh, on a personal level, like doing the block post, like whatever the work they did. So I'm, I'm a little hesitant to sign up for more frequent writing in the blog. I'd rather focus Vandit's efforts on creating the software, mm. but right. yeah. but I no objections if Vandit is passionate about writing, great. But I think for me the time is is more precious mm. to spend on on doing the changes, and there are a lot of changes needed in this particular project proposal. So I, I I as a mentor I would has I would not be willing to say oh you must do that it's up to you Vandit, if you choose to but as a mentor no way would i apply the requirement that you must what yep. i have seen in other organizations is that gsockers normally uh write three blog posts one during community bonding uh second after the uh, first evaluation and third after, uh, for wrapping up everything so i think i'll go with that format that it will it won't put much pressure on me to write weekly uh, what I'll be doing, like we are already uh, documenting things, so uh, putting the link to the document would be nice to, if someone wants to dig deeper into the project details. Okay, that sounds very good to me. Thank you. You mean do you want to have anything you want to add? Nothing new from my side. I like the details currently. Okay. So uh, next thing we want to talk about is the project plan. But this is kind of tricky because like for the Jenkinstar our website, we already have a, I think we already have um no here, yeah, not this one. Have a, let's see, so Jenkins CI. Because like we already have a repo. Say so, oh shit. Why? That's my job. This one, yeah, this one. So the thing is, I was thinking about like maybe uh, like doing something with the project here because they already have some items here, but I'm not sure it's appropriate. Even though I have to, I have to write to do that. I may need to ask first, or I add a project here, maybe here. So I, I could do that, but um. The thing is, I think if, if I'm going to do that, I will be the only person who is able to change to update details, but not Vendate. Or we could, alternatively, we could set up like, a, say, a private repo, and uh, no, not a private repo, but um, a repo uh, in our own um, GitHub account. Let's say, let's say, let's see. So for my repositories, I could probably like uh, start like I uh, say a uh, new one. So, so I can uh, I can do say uh, I can say Jenkins I O um, two or maybe Jenkins I O. But I I'm not gonna do it right now because like um, I'm just saying like I'm just proposing an idea. I can say like an um, uh, no. yeah, and so I I'll, I'll make it public. Do like if if you want want to do it this way, do make it public. And uh, I think it, it would be a good idea for Vendate to do it. So you can you can you can like in your own like um account open a new repository with a name similar to this one, let's say, and make it public. Uh, so and. The next thing to do is to like start building from your new repository. That would be easier for us to integrate later. But do yeah, it right. Like, yeah, then later we can like uh we can like make an a branch on the main Jenkins.io uh yeah, pushing we, a master master branch because like they're used to using master. Yeah, like it would it, this would be this would be where I will work for like till the midterm evaluation and after that if uh, things are rolling good we can like create a branch on the main master branch uh yeah master. Create, uh, uh, yeah on the main master 
Okay. Yeah, I, that would be all right, I guess. But because remember, uh, I, yeah. Yeah, remember to invite all of us to like, I mean, the Mentos team to join your repo and to have like access right to it, so we could monitor it and make changes to it if we uh, see anything like um, we we would like to have for changing. Maybe yeah. not not all the org mains, but at least all the mentors. So it's like um Mark, uh Yiming, Rajiv, and me. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we can do that. Yeah. So uh, project plan. So then we can uh in in that case we can use a a wiki. So uh let me see. So let me back up first. GitHub. So we can use this features. So we can use a not like it's managed wiki pages using wiki. So this is um I think manage grid editing so about it's not one but okay. So we could we could use wikis for the for setting up your project plan. Or setting up project plan. Uh, do you have any like do do you do do you have any concern about this? Uh, I have never used them, but I think uh, I'll we, we, uh, I'll work on that and I'll inform you how I feel. Currently, okay. I don't know. I n- I've never worked with wikis. Yeah, because I can show you like what I mean. Because like you have to be um. Yeah, yeah. An example would be nice. Yeah, because like we have, we do have like the GitLab plugin, or it's like right now it's open to the public, so we can use the wiki here. So the thing is, you can add things to it. The home is just like nothing is here yet. It's just as welcome to the GitLab plugin wiki, but someone else has already done like some documentation in it, so it's using Markdown. So well, wiki will wiki will contain the uh, information about Enter and Gatsby, right? Uh, yep, that's that depends on what you do. It's like this is just an example to show you what you can do with it. But the thing is, for for like for for this one, so I would like you to like in case you're setting it up for settings, go to features, we strict adding to users and teams if they can do so. That'd be great. So we've checked this box after you've invited us to a team. Yeah. Yeah, so we will be more private, but at first we don't have to do it. But in in case like you feel more secure that way, you should do that that way too. Yeah, we can we can we can start working like that. If if uh, I just, I just wanted to clear one thing, the wiki will be used yep. to host the document the documentation the documenting I'll be doing uh, about using Entor and Gatsby, mm-hmm. right? Uh the wiki is for the project plan for now. Oh, the only the oh god god. Only for Japan. At first, if if we find it useful, we can we can use it for other things as well for the documentation too. But um, I think uh we should keep everything to the project plan. Yeah, yeah. That's then great. it's so yeah. That's that sounds right then. Okay. Okay. Cool. So so, so Mark raised his hand. Oh, sorry, I didn't see Mark. Yeah, go ahead. I was just trying to trying to understand the the a, a piece you had described earlier. So initially, your idea is that Vandit will create a separate private repository for yeah. sort of rapid experimentation uh, that uh, isn't for, based uh, on Jenkins.io, right? Is that it's it, it's to uh, so later on we will push a branch from this repo to Jenkins to our repo. That's that's the idea. But first we want to have our own repo first. So we ha- we can like uh, set things up more easily and test things out first. Right. Okay. So so yeah. this is a this is a safe space for Vandit to do rapid rapid experimentation, rapid evaluation. And okay. then then there comes there's comes some time when the project team agrees it's now ready enough to get close to jenkins.io by starting shifting to being 
on the actual Jenkins.io repository? Is that is that what you're describing? Um, yeah. Okay. Thank you. I, I just needed to be sure I understood it. So it's it's yeah. somewhat similar to what what uh, Basil Crow did when he created his prototype of Anfora. Exactly. He created a disposable prototype, knowing that it was intentionally fully disposable. And and when we get yeah. to to real production, it will go on to the official location. That sounds yep. good to me. Yep. Okay. So let's say let me let me plug right down. So um we set up a new private repo for oops, sorry. For do quick rapid experimentation perform finally pushing the branch maybe i think the branch can be called anything but master so you can call it manual you can call it um because like we don't want to force push into the main or master branch that's because like, normally that's protected and now now you use the word private repo but i thought that you were okay if it was a public repo there's no reason for vandy oh, to new sorry. oh private. got it i see okay <laughs> yeah you're right it was a typo okay So Vandit, I assume you're comfortable with that, that this this methodology works for you. I saw you shaking your head. I, I like that. That's great. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Because I I, I knew I, I have written that this in my proposal about the uh, branching part, but I was kind of nervous that it could, because I have tried uh, doing that uh, on a personal project before handwriting it there. So it was kind of, uh, difficult you can say to uh, start a new branch completely uh, from a project start a new branch with content different different from all the other branches completely different from all the other branches so it would be uh, difficult to handle so this repository thing will be easy to maintain and easy to use it will be like a playground for me so i can work faster Great. Yeah, that that thank you. That you've you've confirmed you understood the concept. I needed to ask some questions to be sure I understood it. Thank you. Okay. Good. So next is to engage uh, your uh, mute, I guess. Uh, Sorry, what was that, Vandit? What did you say? Oh, I think there is a connection problem. Yeah, so it's like a closing contact presence. Andy, okay, do so you hear that... us? Do you hear us? No? Indeed? Indeed? No, oh, I think I think it's like it's there's some connection issues. Um can you guys hear me? Yes, yes I can hear you just great. Yes, yes. Yeah. And Bandit froze. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah, I can hear you. Good. Okay, good. Okay, good. So next stage would be to like get the community involved. The most important thing is like how are we going to set up the the whole website with the new tools? So tooling wise, we uh for like for most parts we we have discussed, but for the West, so would you like to say something about it, Bandit? Uh oh, lost him. He has a connection problem. Yeah, I think it's on this side. Let's see if I can find him. Let's see. Hi, guys, I'm back. Uh, uh I, I, my router restarted, I guess. Ah. Congratulations and, and welcome to the internet. 
<laughs> Come on, think about what we're doing here, right? We have two people in China, two people in India, a person in Belgium and a person in the United States talking together in real time. Okay, occasionally there will be a bump. Yeah, okay. okay. Yeah. yeah. What did I miss? Uh, I, I, I didn't hear anything about that initial email part if that has been discussed. Is it discussed? Uh, we were starting it, but you, you just, you, you disappeared. So the thing is like, uh, <laughs> we have been talking about like which part to do which within Tor and Gatsby. So uh, for the user documentation and Tor, for the developer documentation and Tor, Block, Gatsby, and I think for like one, two, three, and that's the West. Yeah. So any suggestions? Uh, and Tor or Gatsby? So my, my preference would be using Tor for everything except the block. That's my preference. So is is that isn't that something we want Vandit to explore because we can't lose security information. We can't lose yeah. the the non-versioned components, right? The the documentation will be a versioned component and the non-versioned components we can't regress. So Vandit's challenge will be okay, how do we how do we retain the change log and the upgrade guide and the the security pages? And the Google Summer uh, of Code pages. Yeah, uh, I have, I have, I have seen that uh, Antora out of the box does not provide anything regarding y dot YML files, uh, and the change logs and roadmaps are generated from dot YML files. So uh, I would, I but Gatsby, Gatsby provides plugins for these things. So uh, it, I think it would be correct uh, or like. I, it would be a great starting point if we start, uh, if we use everything from Entora and the uh, uh, components like the change logs and the roadmap that are the only thing that Entora does not like generates. We can generate them with using Gatsby and the block part. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's what you mean now. So you, you have in here. Probably generate change logs, YAML, roadmap, YAML. Yeah, yeah they generate .yml files. Use, Gatsby generates .yml files using plugins that reads .yml files and uh, create an HTML site uh, paste, HTML page from it. So okay. I'll, I'll, my preference would be everything would be from Entora, expect the blog and the .yml files. Okay, so except the change logs, except the roadmap. Everything else, except the block two, like everything else should be in the forum. Okay. I, I, I love plans, and I'm always surprised at how plans get reshaped as we learn more. Okay. Old military saying. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So, um, Van Dave, would it be okay for you for for you to write like a brief motivation for like what we have just discussed, so I can relay that to the community in an email? I'll I'll send the email, but I want you to contribute to the bottom. Yeah, of the uh, look, uh, uh, I so it will be like a blog post for the community. Or why we'll be using uh shift, shifting to Entora and what parts will be uh, generated from Gatsby. Yeah. Is that what you're so, saying? Yep. Yeah. That's right. I, I can write that. Okay. So yeah, I can uh, write you that. Can, you, you, you can like you can send it to me before next Friday. Would like you that be okay? Yeah, wait, let me just write it somewhere so I don't forget. Okay. I'll remind you too. Okay, I'll I'll send it to you, but by friday okay cool so i'll send it out after i've seen what you've written and i'll add some details to it to, to introduce you to the community too so okay. um what else do we need to do so on the agenda we have so uh introduction contributor you can't see gone through action items 
Yeah, the time is on the calendar. I've done that. I turned. So that's I'm so sorry. It's like T ten and no, T ten and okay no. So any other questions you have about like what you need to do or next week? No, uh, I'll I'll just sum up. I'll have to create a blog post, a project page description, all yep. the things, uh, yep. and the project plan would be on wiki. I'll explore that how to use wikis, uh, yep. and a blog post for the motivation why we why we'll use Entora for the most part most parts of the site and roadmaps, change logs, and blogs using Gatsby. Okay, yeah, yeah. And also bio. But the most important thing is like to begin with the first thing you should so so you, you should have it before you can like up to it is your bio then project plan. yeah project yeah plan. i'll update it after this meeting yep then blog post is not urgent so blog post you can do any time before the bonding period ends okay yeah, so but uh the contribute but the contributor blog post should be before the the blog post about the motivation where I will be using Intora for the most parts, right? Um, for that, it's just to, to explain to the community. So you can, you can, you should have it ready, say, uh, well, because I don't want to put time pressure on you, I don't want to rush you to complete it, but you can complete it next week if you want to, so we can share it with the community earlier. Yeah, then uh, I'll, I'll, I'll complete the contributor blog post by like, by the, fri by Friday and th the okay. motivation, motivation blog can be like on Monday and or Tuesday, like I I'll, I'll can write that on the weekend. Yeah, uh, and project plan can, can be after, but it has to be done before the bounding period is over. So that like, last uh, it, yeah, project, project plan can be done last yep. for the community bounding period. Yeah. That, but, that's uh, all. Oh, yeah. Forget. So, the thing is, I think I need to set up a private account. I have to set up a public set. I just say this way public repo. Or code. Okay. This one, I should assign it to. Sign it to annotate. Oh, hang on. Where's it at? Is it where I can see. I'll do it later. Okay. Okay, good. Any other questions? No, uh, I don't have any questions. I'm told one, two, three, four, five things for you to do this week. And next. Yeah. Okay. So, so we got meet. Okay, go ahead. Oh, Vandy, in terms of exams and other things that may be of importance in your personal life that we need to be aware of, if you can just be sure that that we know when those are so that we don't make heavy demands on you that no one makes heavy demands on you at the time when you're doing schoolwork yeah uh i don't i uh my exams maybe will start from 26 or 27 and the community bonding periods ends on 28 so i think it won't be much of much hindrance for me like can i i'll be able to do most of the work before that I have, I have, I have planned my studies, so I think I'll be yeah. free. Thank you. So you don't need to prepare your exams. I have, uh, considering that, considering that, uh, I, okay. I'll do most of the work before my exams. Okay. Good. Cool. So when will you be away for exams? Just, uh, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll uh, my exams will be one week more maximum one week uh and during that i'll i'll join the meetings and i won't i, I won't be able to do like code work or setting up things so okay. yeah
doing exams, but will be able to attend meetings. Able to attend. Sorry. Meeting. Okay. So any any other thing I should, we should be aware of? Mm, not that can I not that I can now recall or I have anything planned. Okay, so uh, no vacation planned, right? Excuse me. Uh, no family vacation planned. No, no, no family so vacation. You, you okay, cool. Yeah, Very good. So it's time next time we're gonna meet is on Friday. Is next uh, Friday gonna be? Yeah. Okay, cool. So yeah. Next Friday, seven p.m. Seven, IST. Seven p.m. IST. Yep. Okay. So, um, anyone, any, any other mentors have anything they want to add, like with Jason, you mean? No, thanks. Just sincere thanks, yeah. Vandit. Looking forward to this. We are going to have fun. We're going to watch and then observe. You're going to do a great job. Thanks very much for your already existing contributions and looking forward to the contributions you'll make as part of Google Summer of Code. Yep. Thank you, Mark. Very that very really yeah. I mean, that was nice to hear. I was I'm so nervous. Are you? Yes, I am. But we'll fake it until we make it. Yeah. Yeah. Don't so worry. if you have any questions, feel free to ask us ask the questions in the channel. Yeah, on Twitter. Yeah, yeah, I think okay, that sure. I also uh, Yiming went through the same thing last year, so okay. you can share yeah. experiences. Yeah, the part of us too, yeah. Okay. okay. Again next week. So thanks everyone for coming, and uh, we stop recording now.